fast and the jobs will follow. So they have it 100% backwards in my mind. I'm going to go to the phone lines now. We have Charles from Fredericton on the line. Uh, Charles, do you have a question for uh, Mr. Fleming? Bonsoir, Adam. Bonsoir, Ted. Hi, Charles. Uh, I miss you. You miss me, all right. I had to cancel my walk tonight when I found out that uh, you were on Voice, Voice of the Province. I want uh, I can, I can listen to this guy, Adam. Uh, don't let age uh, fool you. This guy could run fast. I, he chased away from me from my camera. Me and him, we could do be beside Ben Johnson, no problem at all. But he first got elected in the by by election, and when I first heard him on TV, I said, "Oh my God, we have enough snobs in Fredericton. My God, come on, not another one." And then the media told me, "No, no, no, Charles, this guy there, he's he's smart. He's smart. He's very good." And then I got to know Ted. And I finally realized that Ted is one of, one of those rare, rare uh, occasion you call, uh, what do you call that? Oh, yeah, an honest politician. And he speaks his mind. And he, when he first came, came to Fredericton, he couldn't, couldn't, I wish he'd tell the audience, but he, he couldn't believe the BS that was going on inside, inside that house. And uh, Ted, I wish you would run. I haven't talked to you for a while. Run, Ted, run. And uh, really, we have to put some uh, life into this show. Uh, Ted, what's your opinion on Donald Trump? Okay, have a good night. Thanks, Charles. Donald Trump. Everything I ever thought I knew about American politics, I don't. <laughs> so, uh, Trump is a phenomenon, and uh, and I try to... I try to uh, it's an interesting question. I tried to analyze what it is about about Trump that's that's uh, that's appealing to so many people. And you know, 20 years ago, the number of people who were dissatisfied with politicians in the United States 20 or 25 years ago was around you know 30 percent thought all politicians were were crooked and all politicians are just into it for the big pension and all that sort of stuff. Well, over the past 25 years, the number of people in the United States who have a disdain for politicians has grown to, I think the Pew Center had the, 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 did the latest study, has grown upward to in excess of 70%. So you've got seventy percent of the of the general population of the United States having disdain for the traditional politician. Well, then along comes the antithesis mm -hmm. of the of the traditional politician, and he appeals to a certain element uh, of of the American population and. Uh, the, the again, you have to remember it's not a general election. It's it's the Republican nomination. The method of selecting candidate or selecting delegates are much different in the in the in the U.S. You know, independents vote. You have to be a registered voter, and things like that. And so it's just it's just a phenomenon that shows to me a general unrest. A general desire of change. I remember for years in the province, everybody that every government that got elected was almost guaranteed a second term, mm -hmm. and uh, here we are heading towards a uh, what in all likelihood is another one-term government. So that'll be three in a row. And and and, and why is that? It's I, I just think this is a general unrest. Uh, we we had a great time in the 80s where. Where money was 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 easy to come by, and people made money. We had a few bumps in the recession along the way, but generally we've had a prosperous run. And and I live better than than my parents, and my parents live better than theirs. And you know each generation, but that's not happening now. And back to what I was talking about, it, you know, most people their their children are not going to live as well as they lived, and that's the first time in in uh, decades, if not centuries, that there wasn't a progressive growth. And I think Trump ties into that, ties into a, to into a, and as government becomes omnipresent in people's lives, 
more and more there's a there's an idea that if I'm not happy, it's somebody's fault, and usually the government. It's the government's fault. I, you know, in my brief Sorry, tenure in government, but the, the amount of people that that weren't happy for whatever reason and expected government to do something to make them happy. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not happy, and it's the government's fault. So it, it's kind of a sign of the times, and so along comes this brash. Uh, uh, bravado. I never, I never took him seriously. I thought he was a flash in the pan, and I thought he would, uh, he'd be like a meteor. He, he'd, he'd flash for a while and then burn out, and he would be a footnote in, uh, mm -hmm. in history. But again, that shows you what I know. I'm going to change topics now. Um